Greetings, this is Rob from Android Community, and today we're going to take a look at Action Launcher, which uh, just hit 2.0 and appeared in the Play Store last night. So we spent a little bit of time last evening and this morning playing around with it. And, well, we've had the, the Quick Drawer over here from the left side. This time around, it's added a new feature from the right called Quick Page. Quick Page is tied in with another feature that has been added with the 2.0 release called One Swipe. And this is a beta feature, so it will have to be enabled. It comes off by default, so if you want to use this, you'll have to turn it on, and then you can choose whether you want Quick Draw, Quick Page, either or, both, however, to, to work for that. Basically, what Quick Page does is when you're in an app, it lets you still access. See the key here, well Quick Drawer has been around and this is just your app list. This one, Quick Page, is just what the name says. It's a page. It's a full featured home screen just like you would get if you swiped one over to the right. Just in this case, you're swiping that and this is um, you're able to do whatever you want. Like this right here can be resized we can rearrange these. This one happens to be recently used apps. Um, you got your Google search up here, whatever you want. You can have individual app icons. You can combine them for folders. Basically, just a uh, you know another full featured page. The key again is you can access this while you are in a in another app. So it kind of allows for a little bit quicker multitasking, a few less clicks to to get to other things. You know, one of the use cases here might be, you know, if you're uh, out in maps somewhere, and say you have your calendar widget in here, it's got a list for an address for an upcoming appointment that you might be able to get to easily. Yeah, you know, we're sure your use case will vary, but it can be handy. And then along with, with that, uh, another cool feature, one that's been around with Action Launcher, is the widgets. If you'll notice down here on the bottom of the bottom corner of the icon, it's got that little three line. If you swipe down, that brings your widgets. So you don't have to have, like in this case, I like the Evernote widget out all the time, but you don't have to have that. You can just do the swipe down. And if you... Uh, tap the bottom corner, you can either change it or remove the widget altogether. And then another feature here is with uh, with folders. You can have just your regular set of folders, but if you open the folder and tap the bottom, you can make what they call a cover. Once you click that, you tap the icon you want. In this case, we'll use TuneIn, so we open it and just close it again, and now you'll notice it's just the TuneIn. So, tap of that brings that up appears to be a regular icon, but if you swipe down, you still have your folder. Admittedly, we are not using that feature to the fullest extent. As you can see, we have three camera icons in the dock, which in theory we could uh, we could combine those. We could make a cover. And still have relatively easy access. Granted, if we wanted uh, Camera Awesome or Instagram, that would take take a swipe and a tap as opposed to just a tap. But you still you see the point. Anyway, this is Rob from Android Community, and this was just a quick look at Action Launcher 2.0 with uh, Quick Page and One Swipe.